we're setting up to get the lowdown on why so many big appliances break down. You've had an appliance breakdown? Yes, we did. It wound up costing more just to get it repaired than it would just to buy a new one. We had to buy an entire new product because the parts, oh, well, they unbeatable. don't make it no more. Appliances are pretty expensive, um, so we did everything we could, but unfortunately we did have to just replace it. We're getting so many complaints that we're asking over 1,500 Canadians to share their stories. In a national survey, which appliance manufacturers, you tell us, break down the most? The challenge is fixing them and your frustrations. When you buy a product, you want it to at least work for a certain number of years, and especially when you have, you know, something big happening like a big dinner, right? You don't expect it to break down, and that's what's happening with a lot of new technologies I'm finding. You name them and rate them. And we're taking your complaint straight to the people in charge, the manufacturers, to see if there's anything they can do. The countdown starts in Brampton, Ontario. Very good to meet you, yes, although indeed. not for a good reason. You're yeah, shopping indeed. again. This is the expense that I do not want to get to. It's Mahul Dalakia versus LG. And our survey says they're in fifth place when it comes to your experiences with breakdowns. Mahul's stuck buying a new fridge because he says his $1,900 LG stops working only six years after he buys it. How do you feel standing once again in an appliance store looking for a fridge? It is bad. I do not have time. I did not have enough funds or the budget that I was thinking about. The LG quits when the compressor dies. Mahul is willing to pay for a new one, but every time he tries to buy it directly from LG, it's no longer available. And when we keep checking LG's website, seems it hasn't been available for at least three months. It's not even old. That's what I say, yeah. What if my, you know, two, three, four thousand dollar fridge breaks again? Would I have enough support? You feel that LG failed you? I feel that LG failed me, that is correct. Remember, LG is fifth on our breakdown list, tied with Samsung. First the dishwasher, and then the fridge. Where were these appliances from? Which manufacturer? Samsung. And here's the thing, survey says most of us have had an appliance breakdown, nearly half of them between five and 10 years old. And get this, nearly one in three broke down after less than five years. Over the last two years, we've had two of four appliances go down in the kitchen. Ooh. How long do you think an appliance should last? Five, six years? You think Only? they should last? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I would say 10 to 15 at least. But here at the Association for Home Appliance Manufacturers, which represents many of the big brands, they claim lifespans are typically 10 years or longer. 10 years or longer? Time to test that out. Do you believe that? No. How old is it? Mm -hmm. It's not about well, five years. You seem a little disappointed. Yeah, I got here expensive. Yeah. <laughs> to see exactly what it takes to fix a major appliance, we're visiting three homes in troubleshooting terror. Lori and Mark Limaker and this new washer dryer set. Myrna Sandal with her newly arrived and already broken dishwasher. And the Brundell Ray family with a three year old fridge on the fritz. It's the people versus the appliance giants. Back on our countdown of your experiences with breakdowns, a tie for fourth. Frigidaire and Maytag. In Calgary, it's Mark and Lori versus Whirlpool. It's number three on our list. Musician Mark Limaker is fed up with his Whirlpool washer and dryer. He has to lug his laundry to a friend's. The door on his new washer just won't open. What was in there? It was sheets, so I had to go buy more sheets. You, your bed sheets were stuck in the washing machine for a month. That was the first time. The second time, they moved the part in and it uh, turned itself on in the middle of the night. For six months, he's been on spin cycle, rotating through repairmen, but still no fix. His landlord and mom is sick of it. Lori says Whirlpool can't find the part to fix it. 
They couldn't locate the part in Canada first. And every time I would call back to say, have you found the part? When are you going to get this fixed? They'd say, well, we haven't located a part yet. And how many times have you had a repair person here? Probably at least eight or 10 times, but I... Really? Mm -hmm. How many hours do you think you've just been on the yeah. phone? I think actually had I just worked instead of being on the phone, I could have bought a whole new really high-end set of machines and just thrown these out. Lori and Mark are finished with their Whirlpool washer and dryer. They're finally being taken back to the store, unable to be fixed. If I hadn't gone through this, I, I wouldn't believe this was possible. I think I reached out to Marketplace when I finally was ready to say, just have somebody come and take them away and throw them into landfill. Back on our countdown of big brand breakdowns, we're in London, Ontario, with Myrna Sandal versus GE at number two. Hi, Louie, I'm calling about my dishwasher. Myrna says she's on the phone almost every day with GE. And I was looking for the email that you were going to send today. I haven't received it yet. So what do you have to do? You have to push it in? Oh. It didn't shut. Fighting no. for a fix for her brand new dishwasher that just won't close. She's tried. It just doesn't stay. We've tried. Come on. But after six months, and four repair visits, it's still useless. Huh. How many explanations were you given for what was wrong with it? Mostly one. You bought it, you own it. Talk to GE and good luck with that. So we're bringing in a repairman with 40 years experience to assess why this machine is still broken. The latch was replaced. It's a new latch. Did that solve the problem? It didn't. And he had written on the invoice, use strength to shut it. Well, that doesn't cut it for Phil Natale. He checks out that latch and digs deeper. It's not making a good catch. I, I think it's a structural thing in the frame. All right. It makes sense. Phil's diagnosis, whole machine's got to go. I didn't get what I paid for. I, I wanted a functional dishwasher on delivery, and I wanted it repaired if something was wrong. And. Um, no one cared about me. No one cared, had any empathy for the, the customer, for their customer. Phil thinks appliances are breaking down sooner and more often. Well, 99% of the times people just say, yeah, I want to scrap it and buy a new one. And that's the reality of our business today. It's a bit wild to think that. When they do break, the parts are expensive. And uh, then when you have factor in the labor and the service charge and all that kind of stuff, it brings it up to five and a half to six hundred dollars for a repair on a machine that's under five years old. Could be why Canadians spend half a billion dollars on new appliances every month, and why our waste depots look like this. When you see this, what do you think? Why do we keep making uh, appliances that last shorter and shorter and shorter lifespans. I mean, something has gone wrong. Nathan Proctor is a U.S. consumer protection advocate fighting to make appliance brands accountable for all this waste. It sounds to me like you're saying maybe manufacturers don't have an interest in producing appliances that will last a long time. The problem is the longer we let it happen without pushing back, the more we're going to have, you know, this. It all makes Phil Brondel Ray cringe. Why don't you want to just throw that thing out and get a new one? It's definitely uh, an option, and uh, definitely to get a fridge either tomorrow, kind of kind of thing. My thinking is more: how can we uh, reduce the garbage, reduce waste, and whatnot? And so, if there is a defective or problematic component on this fridge then why don't we just get it repaired? He's got a fridge from the number one brand. You tell us breaks down the most. This is your marketplace. We're counting down your appliance nightmares. Asking 1,500 Canadians about their experiences with breakdowns. From five, LG tied with Samsung. Four, Frigidaire and Maytag. Three, Whirlpool. Two, GE. Check the fridge. And Phil has the brand you tell us breaks down the most with a fridge he's struggling to fix. At the top of the list, it's Phil Brundel Ray versus Kenmore.
From what I've experienced, the phone calls, the making time to meet up with people, the sourcing of, of people, the waiting on hold, call, call this number, call back, people would have said after two or three days, we're done, we're just gonna go buy another fridge. What happened? And notice that the system was actually leaking a little bit on the floor. I opened up the freezer, everything had, had thawed. And so then I had to start thinking of a plan B. For a sporty family trying to eat fresh and healthy, it's a big problem. Um, the issue is, okay, how can we get this solved as quickly as possible? Quickly? Well, after two months, that seems impossible. Phil's got yet another repairman seeking a solution. We're right there when the problem finally gets diagnosed. That compressor made by LG has conked out. When we checked online, that part wasn't available. Strange for a fridge that's only three years old. So much time has been spent back and forth, back and forth, uh, never really having or stating a solution. I was almost ready to call it a day and just go to an appliance store and buy a new fridge. So now we're calling Kenmore. Please leave a message after the tone. So, no answer once again from Ken Ward. In fact, none of the brands want to talk on camera. But some say, talk to the trade group that represents them. Welcome to Washington. We're heading to the association that represents the big brands, the appliance manufacturers, to try to get some answers from them. We've been asking for weeks for an on-camera interview. Many Canadians are telling us that their appliances are breaking down in less than five years. So we're going to head inside the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, try to get some answers for them. David Common with CBC Hi. Canadian TV. Hi. How are you? Thanks Listen, for thanks for coming. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're happy to reschedule and do this when we can be prepared. We've tried many, many times to really get a, a straight answer. Out of respect, I'd yeah. like you to ask him to turn the camera off. Now that we've come all the way here, the Big Brands Association is changing its tune. Okay, so the message is after weeks of us asking for an on-camera interview and them saying no, they're now willing to talk, willing to give you answers. This is your marketplace. Hello. Hey, David. Hey, hey, how are you? After weeks without a working fridge, the Dolakia family have given up and are buying new. It has been a very bad experience. An experience shared by hundreds of you. Appliances that break down early and are too hard to fix. I was furious. I was, I was very angry, of course. Our fight for answers from Mahul and all of you is taking us to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. After weeks of rejecting an interview, Vice President Jill Nottini is now willing to talk and starts with her own claim of how long appliances today last. Good to see you again. Our data shows, and it's been relatively unchanged over the past two decades, that the average lifespan is about 10 years for appliances. What can you say to people who will say, no way, there's no way appliances are lasting as long as they once did? I think what I would say is that we're like, each individual has their own experience. Our survey says plenty have had a bad experience. One out of three people can't rely on their appliances to last more than five years, and that a great number of them aren't able to repair them easily, aren't able to get the parts. Appliances are becoming more complex um, they're now being built with, with new features, with new technology. So they understand the complexity um, that's now being built into appliances. Does that mean the lifespans are getting shorter? No, it doesn't. Again, our data is showing that appliances are lasting about 10 years on average, and that is relatively unchanged. Mahul says he barely got six years. He wanted to fix his fridge, but he couldn't get the part. Why is it so hard, in some cases, to get a part for an appliance? Often these are, are relatively new. Right, I hear you. And manufacturers do everything they can do to provide parts and servicing of that appliance for a very reasonable amount of time. 
Nathan thinks big appliance isn't doing enough. I would guess that the incentives for them to make long-lasting, durable appliances that people don't replace, those incentives just aren't there. But there is another way. What is right to repair? Right to repair is a set of laws that empower consumers to repair outside of the manufacturer's control. So we're heading to Europe, where across 27 countries, including here in Sweden, right to repair will become the law in 2021. Europe's appliance activism starts in labs like this one. So you have all these tests to make sure that they can really do what they're supposed to do. For project leader Lovisa Blomqvist, that includes testing for long lifespans and making repairs easier. The list of spare parts, they have to be available for like 10 years. Uh, and then they are supposed to be delivered within 15 working days uh, after a request. And also they have to give the up the information on how you repair correctly. If they lived here, people like Lori, Myrna, and Phil wouldn't be stuck waiting months for repairs. Okay, it's a nice idea. Does it work? Do people Actually, do it? it does, yes. Per Boland is Sweden's Minister of Financial Markets and a champion of consumer rights. The idea is to really uh, make it the affordable and the sensible way to, to uh, use your money is to repair what you have rather than just uh, throwing it away and buying something that is brand new. And it's not just about appliances either. You have something here in Sweden that we don't have in Canada. Yes. How does it work? Do. Uh, they lowered the sale tax. They cut it in half. Anything you repair is half the tax. I think it encourages us to fix things instead of throwing them away. So it's kind of a, the government shows a, a hint, please fix, rather than buy new. A lot of people want it when they find out what it is. If you want products that last longer, mm -hmm. that are better for the environment, that cost less to maintain, you should want right to repair. So why doesn't Canada have it? That could be because the association, which represents a lot of those old clients manufacturers, well, it's been fighting right to repair. Why? So our association has been opposing these types of repair regulations because they are overly broad. We are very concerned about the safety implications. By not backing some form of right to repair, it seems like consumers are being forced to buy new. Right, so we never want to deny anyone a choice. People are going to experience at some point an appliance service issue, but hopefully the manufacturer can resolve it in a reasonable amount of time. What's a reasonable amount of time? I think it depends on what the issue is. Would you um, want to there. sit without a fridge for a month? I certainly would not, I could not, no. So manufacturers really are trying to do the best they can do to provide a good customer care experience. They don't get it right 100% of the time. I think that's fair to say, but they are always trying to do better. Phil went about two months without a working appliance and a thousand bucks, he says, for the fix. After weeks of asking Kenmore about the problems with Phil's fridge and our survey results, we still get no comment. Same with Samsung, no comment. GE also won't say anything about the survey, but in the end, they send Myrna a new dishwasher. Whirlpool, which owns Maytag, says they stand by their products. And when we tell them about Lori's washer dryer issues, they apologize. Frigidaire Electrolux tells us it takes reliability and repair seriously. LG tells us they care about their customers and parts are available for sale directly from their website. So let's check that out. There's an LG compressor like the one mahul has been trying to get but says are unavailable. So we buy one and then get this message from LG. Your order has been canceled. We're not permitted to sell compressors. Mahul is not surprised. Very frustrated and very upset. I would have expected a better kind of service. He wants Canadian consumers to have rights, ensuring when appliances break, they can be fixed. I'm taking the risk. 
I am paying the money, I am bringing the technician, I am replacing it in the fridge that I already paid for. Have you ever experienced an appliance repair nightmare? Let us know. Marketplace at cbc.ca. And this was one of your favorites. I was getting back $3,295.73. Oh, goodness, that's fantastic. Experts call it a cash grab. Now you're getting your cash back. I want to thank you, Marketplace, for a job well done. And we want more of your stories. Well, send us an email, marketplace at cbc.ca. We got your back.